All right, it is 9.30 a.m., 31st day of December. We'll bring this special session of the County Commissioner's Court to order. Let the record show Larry Hulsey, John Curtis, Danny Chambers, Kenneth Wood, Don Cranch are all present. First item, discuss, take action on resolution in opposition to unfunded mandates. This is what Jim Allison gave you all. Uh, Brian, through his illness and sicknesses, came up with the numbers, and we compared and went over them again this morning. If you will bear with me, I'll read this into the minutes. Resolution opposition to unfunded mandates, whereas Texas counties are responsible for the operation and management of many various governmental programs as required or authorized by state law, and whereas some county government programs are fully or partially supported with funds dispersed by the state of Texas pursuant to the state appropriations process, whereas the state of Texas acting through the Texas legislative or through a state agency or executive order may enact laws or proclamate rules that have the effect of imposing mandatory financial obligations under Texas counties, and whereas the state of Texas acting through the Texas legislative or through a state agency or executive order mandates counties implement certain government programs or perform certain duties and obligations including financial commitment to a county to expend county funds in connection therewith, and whereas during each regular session of the Texas legislative all state funds that support county programs are reviewed through the state appropriation process and by other budgetary review systems, and whereas the aforementioned review process may result in a reduction or sensation of state financial support of county government programs causing an unforeseeable disruption and reduction to the county budget and operations, and whereas Texas counties cannot achieve reliable financial planning and the necessary bond rating sufficient to support county-related obligations when the state mandates a new program that is not fully funded, or under conditions where the state reduces or fully withdraws prior funding and disrupts disbursement for county government programs, and whereas substantial funding is mandated from county taxpayers and diverted each year from local services for the benefits of the citizens of Sermonville County to support these mandatory financial obligations imposed by the state of Texas, including in the most recent year $39,434.12 to support the appointment of attorneys in criminal cases. $22,016.20 $22,016.20 to support the appointment of attorneys in child protective services, which all totals a little bit over $61,000. $3,656 to fund the state judicial system. $195,558.56 to fund the operations of the Central County Appraisal District, which operates under the direction of the state of Texas. $121,011 to support the services of Texas Community Supervision, adult and juvenile. These and other state mandatory services require $381,276 from the Somerville County property taxpayers, an amount to approximately 3.62% of the county tax rate. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Somerville County Commissioner's Court does hereby resolve that for the foregoing reasons, it is in the best interest of Texas counties and their taxpayers to support and favor passage of legislation in the form of an amendment to the Constitution of the State of Texas that would expressly prohibit the imposition of any mandatory government program on Texas counties, whether by an act of Texas legislator or state agency or by executive order, unless the state of Texas has fully funded and dispersed all necessary funds to enable Texas counties to operate said governmental program. So if everybody is in agreement with that, do I have a motion to adopt this resolution? I move that we adopt this resolution. I have a motion by John. Do I have a second? Second. I have a second by Kenneth. Any further questions or discussion that maybe Brian and I might can answer? You know, for a little county, second smallest county in Texas, you take 254 counties and add all that up, that's a, a astronomical number. Mm-hmm. And, those, and those numbers, commissioners, are the ones that are easily identifiable and trackable. The other numbers that are just part of our budget... Yeah. Uh, that they make mention of is like when we're continuing to house prisoners that need to go to TC. Mm-hmm. TC hadn't picked up yet on state jail felonies. You know, we just don't track that. Mental and health commitments. Yeah. I mean, so there's other costs on top of that. Uh, blue warrants. Uh, you know, we just haven't we just haven't tracked those specifically. So that you know, that's just the, the numbers I can put my thumb on. <coughs> All right, I have a motion by John and a second by Kenneth. All in favor of such motion for resolution is 5 4 0 against. 
Michelle, do you mind if I get a copy of this where I can send it to the state? Yeah, I don't want that. After you file it. All right, item number two is award a bid for pavilion remodel and renovation. Don, I believe it's going to be you and Brian. If the uh, court remembers, we received two uh, proposals from the firm. Uh, we received one from um, uh, Two Brothers Construction of Glen Rose, Texas, and the other one we received was from Superior Construction and Machine. Uh, which is out of Blum, Texas. Uh, as per our agreement with uh, hiring a construction manager, those proposals were turned over to Mr. Gill for evaluation and review and we bring back this morning uh, with the recommendation of the court. Uh, upon his review, Mr. Gill has determined that the, uh, uh, the best course for taxpayers to accept the proposal from Two Brothers Construction and Glen Rose, which of the two is the lower uh, uh, proposal. And that proposal amount is $93,473.77. Say that again. And, his, uh, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, uh, Don, but uh, basically it, uh, his professional opinion is that the taxpayers would be best served entering into and awarding the contract to Two Brothers Construction. How much lower than the other bid? The second, uh, the second place bid was 128355 Why is that around $30,000? 30, <laughs> This on for this ninety three thousand. Let's let's just let's overview what we're gonna get for that. Two restrooms, the storage room, moving the ice maker, demo on the existing storage room, uh, closing the end of the north wall, repairing both east and west walls. Everything that we discussed in the pavilion itself yes. from beginning to end. Okay. I mean, there's some other details in there. Windows on the north side. Window on the north side. Two, two doors, two pull-up doors. Or? Mm-hmm. Every, well, it's, in, it's on paper. It's, yeah, it's in the estimate. It's all automated. Okay. There's, there's only one item, and you probably saw the interference with the uh, display board at the west end of the building. Um, I don't know what will have to be done to that, but there may be some interference on that roll-up door, that north wall. We, we discussed it. It may have to be a, either moved back or a piece of it. Right. Okay. Moved. Okay. Well, I'd entertain a motion to award this contract to Two Brothers Construction. I make a motion that we award the contract to Two Brothers Construction for the renovation of the pavilion at the golf course for $93,473.77. I have a motion by John. Do I have a second? Thank you. I have a second by Kenneth. Any further questions or discussion for Don or Brian or the two golf gentlemen? All in favor of said motion. That's five four zero against. Thank you, Don. When we're gonna get started. <laughs> Item number three, approved budget transfers. Should have had one just for Don to go out on it. I sure appreciate that. <laughs> Well, no action on item number three. Item number four, approved county bills. That is a document I handed to you. Uh, you can see that we're paying $22,904.45. Uh, so that will energy to go ahead and pay the electric bill. Uh, next link, broadband. Uh, and then this is a $10,000 payment 
for another one of these uh, uh, tourist grant shows. Uh, this is the ultimate cap roping. Uh, Frank has received the award letter and, and everything from the, the governor's office. So this will be our contribution uh, to that. Well, I have a motion to pay our county bills. I make a motion to pay our county bills. I have a motion by Kenneth to have a second. Right, I'll make a second. I have a second by Don. Any further questions or discussion for Brian? All in favor of said motion. Five, four, zero against. All right, who wants to do the adjournment today? Kenneth, it's normally you. Hey, Don. Don, adjourn You want to adjourn the meeting? I'm making a motion that we adjourn this meeting. John second. John by <laughs> second. Only in favor of that. Five, four, zero against. Turn Thank out you, the lights. Party's over. Commissioners, it has been a pleasure. Congratulations. Thank y'all. I thoroughly enjoyed sitting here beside Larry and being harassed the whole time.